So this is our little yurt. We lived in here for about 18 months. About 15 of those when we were working on somebody else's off-grid farm looking for our own piece of land and then for the first four months when we moved onto this bare bit of land. You can check out that video. But these days we use it as an Airbnb place. Which kind of explains why it's this tidy. It's not normal for us. <laughs> we love living in a year. We never intended to live in a year. It wasn't ever a dream of ours, but it just kind of happened that we, um, that some new friends lent us their year to stay in while we figured out what to do with our lives. And we just learned to love it. We love living in a round place. There's something really special and kind of almost sacred about living in a round room. And we love the way that it kind of forces us to be slightly more minimalist. Minimalist, I shouldn't really use that word. That's got nothing to do with our lives. <laughs> but just slightly more simple. Like we did have to, we do have to be really mindful of what we bring into our home. We do still have a lot of crap. And we love how it feels like you're so close to nature when you live in a yurt. Like there's just so little between you and the great outdoors. Like just a little bit of fabric and a little bit of insulation. And it really does genuinely feel like you kind of live in a tree house or something. We love that bit of it. In fact, we enjoyed living in this small yurt so much that when the time came and we found our own piece of land, we, rather than looking at a house, we simply upgraded to a bigger yurt. <laughs> and now we have two. It's completely self-contained down here. So we have a little kitchen at kind of cooking area and a little bathroom. We have a composting toilet. It's a really beautiful design that my husband made. a couple of tiny little solar panels which um, power the lights with a remote control and which you can kind of charge your phones off and that kind of thing. The only downside I can see with a year is that they probably are slightly on the more expensive side. However, I'm pretty convinced that they'll last you forever and you can just keep taking them down and putting them up wherever you go. So they're good for people with a nomadic spirit. Hope you enjoyed our little yurt tour. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and like this video because every little bit counts. Thank you for supporting my channel.